How's it hanging dudes and dudettes? My name is Sean and I love City Skylines and man this new Dev Diver has got me so excited. Look, there are some things in here that you probably noticed but you probably missed. You may have missed. There's some crazy stuff in here. We've got a lot of information. A ton of good stuff. So like and subscribe. Some of you still haven't. That's okay. You know I was trying to put out some actual CS1 builds and stuff but nobody really watched it so I just you know. I put it on a members tab and hey we got members now and it's pretty cheap that's cool right anyway moving on top five things that you probably missed out of the new dev diary trailer now it's all about zoning right and so one of the like most fascinating things that I seen out of this was this little bitty detail right here you see how uh, the person stretches the uh, residential grid all the way through and the grid drags past the road but the but like the grid lines do but the grid itself doesn't that's such a nice key feature because i'm constantly overlapping grids that i don't mean to and I have to go back and rezoning this extra clicks extra time that i have to do and it is just such you know it's it's annoying really and this little bitty tiny detail is something that i don't think a lot of people you know can actually comprehend and understand that uh, there's a lot of quality of life features uh, that's actually coming to the game now and it's actually a tremendous increase from uh, from the monotony of the game that we had yeah there's a couple little things in here like you know the assets look a little bit bland but also this could be a beta build so there's a lot of things that I'm just gonna let pass and that's not really that big of a deal but some of the small attention to detail stuff like this is really really cool and I really really appreciate them for that okay so some menus finally we get a little bit of a menu and it looks like the menu is a lot clearer than the starting menu from cs1 maybe i get some images here to just to compare and contrast i don't know it, it just you know there's new game load game editor paradox mods um so i guess those are like you know mods that are that they feature themselves and that help develop i don't know i just it looks so much cleaner and i like that and you may have missed that because it's so quick and so fast right um, and then they go right on to other menus for the maps and in the maps um, I think biomes are confirmed if you just look at the at the pictures themselves they don't really look very um, how you say it, like biomey right they all kind of look kind of green kind of lush with a few mountains a little bit of water but if you look at the temperature range and the temperature uh, tells you exactly how hot or cold it is right um, there's it's just and then there's latitude so it lets you know where it's at in the world right in the like northern hemisphere or whatever that is that's cool to me of course you have all your natural resources your connections and uh, all that kind of stuff of course you get the european theme and the american theme but the ability to look at the temperature and look at the latitude and, and northern hemisphere is really going to play a part when we get into the map and see just how closely they resemble you know these certain areas of the world and how close because the maps that they originally made was just like they seemed like they just did it really fast and a lot of people came on to make beautiful maps after that but it took a lot of time so now let's 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 i'm curious to see how these maps are going to be but some of these little bitty fine details you may have missed and so i wanted to uh you know bring those to your to your uh make you aware of them i, I don't know how to <laughs> anyway moving on okay so there is um some you know like key buildings and stuff some cool buildings signature buildings they want to show you but i don't want to talk about that i want to talk about one little bit time where this lady this lady the narrator says your commercial zones are also where citizens and tourists eat out catch the latest blockbuster and dance until dawn that there is areas where your sims can party until dawn right so that lets you know there's probably going to be like a red light district like a um like a entertainment district po possibly um that you're able to maybe maybe do um also i don't like the way there's so many billboards on the same building again i don't like that but anyway you know the my gripes are are neither here nor there but uh, the ability to actually have a thriving nightlife at the start of the game it just shows what i said a long time ago that the game is actually going to give you bits and bobs and the and the majority of a lot of the DLCs revamped into a basic package and we might get those later on down the line but that doesn't mean we're not getting touches and feels of what those DLCs had to offer from the first game into City Skylines 2 base game and then moving on to one of the final things is the mixed zoning that's right mixed zoning is finally confirmed 
and ex ig ignore my dog growling. I think they're, they're mad at each other. But yeah, mixed zoning is is uh, finally confirmed, and that is going to add so much detail to the builds. That is not to be understated. You can't. You, there's nothing you can say about that that would make me think that that's a bad thing, right? We need that now. I hope later on down the line we're able to mix even further like commercial on the bottom or office space on the bottom or sometimes there is even some factories that have apartments above it and they're not like you know very polluting factories and stuff like that um, but th that's the thing and so I'm just glad that it's even in the game I'm glad they've added it I'm glad that there's even possibilities to make it better um, moving on to the last thing is um, if anybody noticed there's like is like the pollution in this game is kind of odd right like you see a part where there's like some sort of like a little factory that's right next to a, a farm field and it's like you know does that mean that you know the pollution is mitigated now not too bad as air pollution doesn't affect the ground is that is that what's happening here because this is clearly an industrial area right jutted up next to a farm with only a road between it and the green trees right next to it are not dead you know what I mean? So I think that the pollution system is completely overhauled, not just moving around in the air and the air quality is kind of bad. That might be where you've seen the kind of smog over the farm. But then again, why would you put a farm right next to the factory? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? I don't know. But the fact that they're showing it and it's possible and there's actually still crops growing there means that there's probably not any ground pollution. So, yeah. I know. Look, these are just, there's so much content from these four minutes. And, of course, we're getting an insight a video later. But, yeah, that's this is like my, my top five things that I think that you need to know you missed you probably didn't know you know just a, a general top five um, but there I'm gonna be looking into this trailer a lot because just look at that little bitty subdivision town back there I just oh my god look at the the hills look anyway um yeah I don't know that's all I really got for you guys but I do want to say that hey if you're watching this video all the way to the end um, I appreciate you so now I'm talking to you um, uh, I'm working on merch. That's just you. Now that not anybody has to buy it or anything like that. But um, what I do want to say is I have channel memberships. Um, for those of you who watch all the way to the end, those of you who come to every single one of my videos, whether no matter what I upload, uh, those people who actually care, right? Um, the memberships are literally. Yeah, so, you know, it's $1.99. That's all it is, and you get emojis to use in live streams. I'm doing live streams frequently, and your member badges is, is a is a city build. Um, you can't really see right here. I'll zoom in as much as I can, but uh, on the stream you can see it better. You start out with a house, and you move into a slightly bigger house, and then you move into apartment complexes, and then you have apartment complexes have shops in front of them, and your and your city just builds on and on and on to you get the Empire State Building, a Statue of Liberty, and a big cruise ship, right? So I think that's a pretty pretty cool touch, even though it's hard to see. <laughs> so I might have to change that later. I don't know if I have if there's any good graphic design who want to come help me out that's cool too but channels memberships are a thing now and so um, if you guys want to support me in that way that's cool it's super cheap it's $1.99 and I'm not even sure how much of a cut YouTube takes or if they take a cut but I just wanted to you know a lot of people support me and they're always in discord and they're always asking how they can help and so I just wanted to just if you really want to help me out and support me directly it's not a lot um, but I don't need a lot I don't I'm not asking for a lot so it's there if you want to but you don't have to. Um, I love you guys. I appreciate you. But until next time, piss off. Two to the one, from the one to the three. I like good pussy and I like good trees. Smoke so much weed you wouldn't believe. And I get more ass than a toilet seat. Three to the one, from the one to the three. I met a bad bitch last night in the D. Let me tell you how I'm gonna leave with me. Conversation and hear the sea. I've been to the motherfucking mountain top. Heard motherfuckers talk, seen them drop.